Well, thank you for tuning in to From the Heart. I am your host, none other than Reverend J.D. Milburn, and I have with me my wonderful co-host, and he is... Pastor Jim Swinne. That We just thank God for being back in here today. And, you know, when we begin to think about this time of year, we're going into what we usually term as the holiday season. And uh, our next holiday that's coming up is none other than Thanksgiving. And I know all down through the years as kids in school and everything, we learn a, a particular story about uh, how the pilgrims and Indians celebrated uh, Thanksgiving, their first Thanksgiving. But I want you to know that is not the reason why some of us celebrate Thanksgiving itself. We celebrate it because the Bible tells us in all things give thanks. And I love it because it's a reminder of all the things, all the blessings that God has done for us. And I just want to take a special day, not, not just every day, but I, I want to take some special times during the year and this special day and say, Lord, I just thank you. Pastor, what do you want to say? I just thank the Lord for things that he have already done, man, because I tell you, he brought me over some hard times, you know, and I want to thank him for the things that he's about to do, you know, because, man, I, I've just been walking in, this, in, in a blessed season, and, and, you know, and I just thank God for it, and, and I just want to thank him for the things that he are yet doing, because, he is always moving, and he's always an on-time God. Yeah. And, and, you know, and that's so very important because I'm, I'm moving in a blessed season, too. And, uh, matter of fact, my, my work is coming in well. I'm getting paid decently off of it. Uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm physically worn out right now. <laughs> but even in the midst of it all, uh, I still see God's blessing coming forth. And every day... There's a new blessing that pops up and says, hey, here I am. This, I'm, I'm from the Lord. I want you to take me and I want you to enjoy me as this blessing. And you know, sometimes uh, we look at things in a different light. Mm. Uh, you, we, we so often look at what we don't have instead of what it is that we do have, the majority of what we have. And we, we used to sing the song, count your blessings, count them one by one. Count your blessings and see what God has done. But we have to learn to go back and begin just to count those blessings mm. every single day. And when we do that, we, we begin to look at the blessings that God's promised that he would give us rather than looking at the silly problems that we have in our life. Mm. And here's the thing. We worry at, uh, at the problems. We look at the problems. We, we see nothing but the problems. We feel the problems. We dream about the problems. And when we do this, we, we go to bed depressed. And we wake up even more depressed because when we wake up, oh, God, here's another day. Mm. But when I wake up in the morning, Lord, I just want to thank you. Amen. I, I don't know what problem I might face today, but I guess I know one thing in all things that I don't have to handle this thing by myself. Amen. And because Amen. we're going into the holiday season, it's just a reminder of me. Tell the Lord, thank you in everything that he does. And we have to. And, and this is a good time of the year, as I stated, you know. To look back and and, and we are gonna have problems and we have had problems and there's nothing we can do to stop problems from arising every day. But in spite of what problems we have or we're having or we're going to have, we have to look at the good side of it because Granddaddy used to say there's something good in every bad. And if we can depict the good out of the bad that didn't happen, then we can see God moving in the midst of a tragic. And when we look back and be thankful for where we come from, we're looking back and being thankful for where he brought us from to where he brought us unto. And where he brought us from wasn't all good. Oh no! I mean, it, it was tragic. It was heartaches. It it was it was being beat down. But yet he brought us through, and that is something to be thankful because we're not. We may not be where we want to be, but we are not where we were on yesterday. Exactly, and you know, and and the scripture speaks so often about looking at uh, looking at the good things of life. Mm -hmm. It even says, "Look above the." lower in the beggarly elements of this world. Amen. But to things above. I look to the hills from which cometh my help. And and we we hear these type of sayings all the time, but it kind of goes in one ear and it goes out of the other ear. 
And when we allow it to do that, then we allow that old devil, devil we allow that old Satan to come in mm -hmm. and begin to talk to us. Well, you know, it's, uh, you know, things were rough yesterday, but you know it's going to be a lot rougher today. Or you just don't know what's coming up. Oh, you know what? He's right. I don't know what's coming up. But what I do know is this. I don't have to handle it all by myself. Amen. As a matter of fact, the scripture told me, stand still and mm. see the salvation of the Lord. That's what he said. And he said that he would not let the righteous be cast down. He will hold them up. Now unto him that is able to keep me from falling, that is able to do exceeding abundantly more than I could ask or think. Amen. But we've got this mentality of, you know, we, we were talking a little while ago about that old proverb about the, the glass being half empty right. or half full. Right. That's a mental state. We can't afford to look at things in a pessimistic way. Mm. with a pessimistic mindset, uh, looking at everything as if it's dwindling down. But if you are truly believing in God's power, in his love, in his divine providence, yes, sir. if we are truly looking at those things, he said he will not suffer my foot to be moved, that whatever I go through, he's going to pick it up. And all I have to do is say, Lord, I just want to thank you, follow his word, and he is going to make sure that I have what it is that I need. Amen, because that's that very present help. Yes, sir, in the time of trouble. In the time of trouble. And, 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 and as we acknowledge that, uh, Lord, thank you for what you did in the past. And now we say, Lord, thank you for what you're doing right now. Mm -hmm. Because when we acknowledge what he's already done, as he, as he brought us through, now we're looking at what he is yet doing right here and right now. Because God is always an active God. He's always doing something behind the scenes on our behalf. It's we who cannot see what he's doing. But the question, how bad are we trying to see? Because I tell you, uh, Elder, that old sloop foot, the devil, he do not want us to see what God is actually doing in our lives. Oh, no. And especially when we say, well, Lord, I'm going to pray more this year. I'm going to be thankful more. I'm going to do this more. That old sloop foot sitting on the sideline said, no, you're not. Just like a, a policeman. When a policeman come up on you, and especially if you did something wrong, and even sometimes when you hadn't did nothing wrong, he used these words, something like this. He say, uh, anything you say can and will be used against you. Oh, yes. Well, see, that's what the enemy do. Anything we say will be used against us. We say we're going to do right. He say, no, you're not. He say, we're going to pray more. No, you're not. We're going to be more thankful. No, you're not. And he tried to hold himself to those things. But if we acknowledge that God is a very present help, he will help us to overcome and help us to endure those things that we hold fast to him, mm -hmm. saying that we will do. And, and you know, so often, I, I like the way you just talked about that. Because when we set goals for ourselves, we set long-range goals. We, we think about what's going to happen so many months, so many years from now. Yes. And But there's an old song that uh, our, our women's supervisor of our jurisdiction used to sing all the time when she would get up. And it will be one day at a time. <laughs> one day at a time, dear Jesus. And we forget that we can only live one day at a time. That's it. First of all, tomorrow is not promised. Mm -mm. Now, do I look forward to tomorrow? Oh, yeah. I, I, look, I know God has some things for me to do, and he's not going to take me out of here. But I still have to understand I have to live for today. So I'm not worried about what is going to happen tomorrow because I know who's, uh, uh, who has tomorrow in his hands. Mm -mm -mm -mm. It is my Lord and Savior. And then he turned around when he left this world. He said, before I go, he said, I'm going to send another comforter. Yes. He said, that shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. And I want you to know that when I tell the Lord, I just want to thank you. I'm thanking him for all that he's done. I'm thanking him for that comforter. Why? Because he does comfort me in the times of trouble. And when I just tell him, thank you, Lord, I don't know how I'm going to make it out, but you know, you have the power, you have the spirit, you have the might. I know that everything is going to be all right. Amen. And as and long as we keep our faith in him, it's great. It, it, we ain't got no choice but to be all right. <laughs> you know, because look, uh, in acknowledging and thanking him for what he did on yesterday, it's like being rooted in him. 
And then when, when, when acknowledging him and thanking him for what he's doing on today, it's like being built up in him. Yes. So now we're rooted and now we're being built up. And when we look to the future of what he's about to do, now he's establishing us in him. Built up, rooted, built up, and now establishing him because he will establish us for whatever to come. He will give us the strength to be able to endure. He will give us the wisdom to be able to, 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 to exert ourselves and that people will see him and give him the glory. Mm -hmm. And that's so, so very important. And here's the thing. Even though we come out, and I'm just going to say with an opt optimistic view, mm. an optimistic stance on what we do in life, that does not mean that our days aren't going to be gray, cloudy, there aren't going to be some storms arising, but every time it gets cloudy, every time there's some storms rising, I still know there's going to be a silver lining somewhere. Why do I know that? Because when, when we think about what he's already done, and, you know, sometimes people say, well, just look at my track record. Mm. Just, just look at my track record. But when I look at God's track record, he's won every race. Amen. He's won every battle. Amen. He's never fallen. He's never backed down because he hasn't had to. So if I just simply look at his track record. Mm. Now, if you look at mine, it's not bad. But there's some times that I've messed up. Amen. But when I look at God's track record. Oh, totally he said, I'll different. never leave you nor forsake you. Mm. Yeah, I won't even leave your seed begging bread. He said, is, is there anything impossible with me? No, there's not anything impossible with God. So I stand on his word, which is his track record. And even though a problem arises, sometimes it's like, Lord, I, I don't know how I'm going to get out of this. And he says, stand still. Just stand Amen. still. Amen. And, and you know, and like 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 my son always tells me, I say something. He says, "Dad, I, I got you. Dad, I got you." <laughs> and I love to hear that. But when Jesus says, "I got you," I got you, I got you. I'm like, Lord, go ahead. It's, it's your battle now. I'm Amen. just gonna sit back and I'm gonna rest. You handle this thing. Amen. And when He handles it, it's done. It's done. It is just done. And that's another thing. When we begin to pray, we tell the little, we tell the little devil, oh, I'm going to pray anyway. No, you ain't. If you do pray, it's not going to work. But guess what? God said, whatever I asked in his name, mm. he'll do it. Amen. So I, I believe him. I don't believe that other thing. Amen. I believe God. And we have to because throughout our life, you know, the the Bible tells us in the book of Job that our uh, days are short but full of trouble. So we must understand that as we go through this time period that we're going through, we're going to experience trouble. And we're going to have so much turmoil in our life that where if we don't hold fast to the Lord, we can lose our very own identity of who we are. Mm -hmm. So we must make sure that as we go through life that we're being thankful. And being thankful is, is also being rooted in him. Yes, sir. And, and being remindful of, of, of what he did for us already and what he's yet doing for us is it, it, helping us to be built up in him. And as we look to the future, amen, we know that he is establishing us in him. And if we don't be built up, rooted, and established in him, then we're going to be liking some components that we're going to need to fight off the enemy because he is coming. Yeah. And if he haven't came in your life yet, keep living. He will. And, you know, where the scripture says, in all things, give thanks. Amen. And, and sometimes people mistake what that's saying. They think we're supposed to thank, thank God for everything that happens to you. No. If I get sick, I'm not thankful for that. Mm. If, if, if uh, trouble comes up, if some crazy bill pops up that I didn't know about and I don't have money for it, I'm not thankful for that. But in all things, give thanks. Lord, d despite the problem that came up, despite that flu, despite, mm. despite the car breaking down, despite people talking about me behind my back, despite me not getting paid, Lord, I'm going to thank you anyhow because you are going to work it out. Amen. So I'm not thanking him for the issue. I'm thanking him for the solution and for the promise. Amen. Giving him praise and giving him the honor as we go through the storm. See, uh, somebody said it this way. You don't have to wait till the battle is over. Oh, yes. Amen. We need to shout the victory 
win the battle or actually before the battle come, knowing that we have the victory. And as we go through the battle, amen, we're shouting our way through the battle because, amen, something about a shout unto the Lord, amen, it, it can pierce the ears of the enemy and it can send them, amen, as they come in one way, the Bible says they'll, they'll flee a thousand ways. Mm -hmm. Amen, our shout, amen, brings about victory over our enemy. We just got to know Know who we shouting for yeah. and see it's so important for us as you say don't wait till the battle's over to shout now amen begin to thank him now begin to praise him now because when we're going through problems we're going through all these trials these tribulations that life has to bring to us the devil looks back and he's like well what's wrong with these people I'm throwing everything at them that I can possibly throw, and they're still happy. They're still praising and thanking God. What, what is wrong with them? What, what more can I do? I've tried everything, and God won't let me do any more, and they're still praising God. And I'm praising God because, no, you can't do anything more to me than God will allow. Amen. And when Amen. he doesn't allow it, that means even in the midst of all the trouble. Even in Mr. All the Trial, I might have to cry sometimes. Mm. I'm, I might have weeping for a night. But when the morning comes, when the morning comes, uh -huh. I'm going to be shouting. I'm going to be praising. I'm going to be dancing. And I'm going to be saying, Lord, I just thank you, God, for all that you have done. Amen. And that weeping, man, you know, some, sometimes it's all right to cry. <laughs> you know, and I, I, tell, I tell, tell people all the time, you know, it's okay not to be okay. You know, because sometimes we just don't be okay. But, you know, knowing that God is a very present help, you know, even though I'm not okay, I'm okay. Because God got my back. God is a very present help. He's right here. He know what I'm going through. He know what I'm facing. He know, amen, what I need. So it's okay not to be okay because he going to make it okay. And, and that's the way it's supposed to be. And here's the thing. If, if we knew all the answers to everything, mm. why would we ever lean and depend on God? Because, and then not only that, we begin to think of our own selves as God, as the Almighty. Uh, I, God, I don't need you. I already know all the answers to everything. But he's letting us know that you're still human. You're still going to have some issues. As you said, man that is born of a woman is but a few days and full of trouble. Full of trouble. So we know we're going to have trouble all down through the years, throughout our entire life. Trouble is going to be popping up. But the problem is, or the issue is, I'm not worried about the problem, but I'm looking at the promise. Amen. And he promised me that he was going to keep me, and he would bear me up in all my infirmities. And when I get weak, he said that his strength is made perfect in my weakness. Amen. And and if we want to be made perfect, we have to look unto him. Amen. Because he is the author and the finisher of our faith. And he will do just what he said he would do. But we have to look unto him and we have to give him thanks. And we have to be sincere in, 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 our, in our being thankful unto him because he know our heart. Mm hmm he know well, you can't go to God and, and and pull his toes like you might pull mine, you know. You you might can fool me all the time, but you can't fool God none of the time, you know. And and being a man of God, uh, and you being an elder man of God, you know, you ain't gonna fool us all the time. No, because God's not gonna allow it. You we just have to learn to relax and enjoy the present that He have already given us given us and it's really think about that enjoy the present and 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 and, and looking at that you you enjoy the present day time mm -hmm. and in the present day time there's a present that is given and that present that is given is life yes, so is. to enjoy life is is to allow the holy spirit to have leverage in our life that's when we're going to really be thankful and joyful and, 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 and for everything that we do. And we don't have to worry about what come our way. We know that God is a very present help. And, you know, sometimes, well, actually quite a bit of time I'm out and wherever I go, I'm always greeting people at the supply houses or wherever I go in the stores. And I say, hey, how, how are you doing today? And sometimes, a lot of times I hear the answer, well, I woke up this morning. I said, that's a good start. That's, That's a good, a good start. start. <laughs> you, you woke up. That's a good start. But here's the thing. Once we wake up, 
I just dare you. I dare you. Ooh. And what do we say as kids? I double dog dare you. <laughs> I triple dog dare you. Yes, when you sir. wake up in the morning and say, Lord, I just want to thank you. Mm, mm, just, mm. Lord, I think, I don't know what's going to happen today. I don't know what's going to be for me. But Lord, in the midst of it all, I just want to thank you. I've got to tell you, thank you, Jesus. Amen. And I guarantee you that the devil will say, wait a minute here. I, I, I planned this for them today. I planned that. But uh, they, they're already thanking God. And God steps in and says, that's right. Amen. That's right. They, they know from which cometh their help. They know who blesses them day by day. Amen. So get back, Satan. You can't touch us. This is my child. Amen. <laughs> so we, we have to understand that when we wake up, we have to have wake up in that frame of mind. You might be tired. You might have a headache from whatever you went through the day before, but still say, Lord, I just want to thank you. This is Thanksgiving time, Pastor. Amen. Thanksgiving. We are to tell the Lord, thank you. We are to thank him in all things. Amen. I thank you, Jesus. <laughs> and we need to thank Jesus. We need to thank the Lord because, as the song say, he has brought us a mighty, mighty long way. Yes, sir. Amen. So we, we, it's time that you take a moment, you know, forget about Christmas. Forget about uh, Halloween. Forget about yourself. And let's just take this last week and run into the uh, unified day of thanksgiving, amen, thinking about the Lord and meditating upon his goodness. Because if it had not been for the Lord, really think about where would you be right here and right now? If it had not been for the Lord, amen, what would you be thanking him for? I mean, you might say, well, I ain't got nothing to thank him for. But if you really know the truth, or want to know the truth about it, you woke up this morning. That's it. Amen. And and you have the activities of your limb. Somebody didn't wake up having the activities of their limb. Somebody didn't wake up closed in their right mind. That alone, Elder, is enough to be thankful for. It is. It is more than enough to be thankful for. And and again, we, we so often think about what we don't have. We forget about the blessings that we've already received. Mm. But I still go back, count those blessings one by one. Count those blessings and see what God has done. When we do that, the Lord is going to look at us and he's going to say, you know what? My child really appreciate, appreciates what I've done for him. And then he just says, you know what? I'm, I'm just going to give him a little extra blessing. I'm, I'm just going to throw another little blessing his way. See, see, see if he or she really notices it. And when that blessing comes, say, oh, God, Lord, I thank you so much. Amen. I, I, I wasn't expecting it, but, Lord, I, I just thank you. See, we need to be like little children uh, to God as our, our little children are to us. Amen. And, and you know how when the children's walking around, they're having a normal day, but all of a sudden you, you pull out a little something that they may have wanted. And, and mm. I, I, you know, I was just thinking about you. I just want you to have this son, have this baby, have this dog, whatever. Just put, let, let, pull it out. And when they were looking, they're like, for me? <laughs> you know, and see, that's what we need to do with God. What for me? You you just blessed me a few minutes ago, and another blessing, see? another blessing, another blessing. And when we can do that, our whole mindset will change, our whole demeanor will change, our very presence that we project to other people will begin to change them mm. because they're saying, if he can be that happy, if he can be that joyful, what is wrong with me? If he can say, Lord, I want to thank you in the midst of his problems, what is wrong with me? Amen. And that's what we need to be doing. A present in the presence of a present. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. <laughs> God is a good God, man. And, and you, you're right, Elder. We, we, we got to learn to be more thankful. Amen. In spite of what we're going through, in spite of what we're faced with, we have to learn to be more thankful because uh, all thanks and praise go to him. And oh, where Lord. would we be if it wasn't from him? I know I probably wouldn't be here, Elder. I ain't no telling where I probably, but I know I probably wouldn't be here. But because of what Jesus did for me, I'm here, amen, and, and God have given us an opportunity to share him with a wide uh, audience. Yes. And, 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 and 
that alone, outside of just waking up this morning, I'm thankful. And that's what I mean by that present, in a present, in, a, in the presence. Yes. Because you know, yes, he, he gave us a present when he woke us up, and he blessed us with the presence, amen, in the presence of the daytime. Oh, hallelujah. And, and there's, just, there's just so much to really thank God for. And, you know, uh, sometimes when we have a spouse or significant other, whatever you want to call them, you know, sometimes they feel neglected because you haven't seemed to have appreciated them yes. the way that you should. And that's, yes. that's so easy to yes. have. But when we show that appreciation, and then, then we, what we get in return for that appreciation is normally phenomenal. It, it, it may just be a, a little neck rub. It, it might just be an arm across. So it might be a little kiss on the forehead. Mm -hmm. it, it could just be anything. But if you really think about why they would have done something like that, and, and think if a human can do little things to make you happy, what mm -hmm. more can God do? Amen. What can he Amen. Do? There is nothing impossible to him. I mean, he owns everything. Everything. The money is his. The gold and cattle upon a thousand hills, all the silver is his. So when we need something, all we have to understand is that if we believe that he is able and that he will, all we have to do is say, Lord, and he, and in scripture turns around and says that he knows what we have need for even before we ask. Even before. He's just that good. Amen. He's just that good at everything that he does. So when I say, Lord, he always says, I know, I got you. Amen. I got you. <laughs> <laughs> and he do have us. And we, but we just have to trust him. We have to trust and believe. And, and we have to know without a doubt that he have my back. In spite of what I'm going through, in spite of what I'm faced with, God is a very present help. And he always have our back. Amen. Because he want us, amen, uh, to do the right thing, to live right. And he's given us his spirit to help us. If we allow his spirit leverage in our life, he will help us to do all that God has required us to do. And see, and that's another thing to give thanks for, because he said that I'm going to send another comforter. Mm. Now, he said that then. Yes. Which means he's already sent. Already did it. He's already sent the Holy Spirit. Amen. To comfort us, to yes. feed us with yes. knowledge and understanding. Yes. And, and the important thing there is when he feeds with knowledge, that tells us what's going on. But then he feeds us with understanding and it gives us to understand the situations that we get in. Yes, sir. And if we truly have a good understanding of those things, we will first of all understand that whatever happens now, that's not the end. Mm. Whatever happens tomorrow, he's still going to make a way. Whatever happens the day after that, he still has got my back. Amen. And because he has my back, I don't have to back down. Don't have to. And see, and you know, we, we, we need to look at things not from our own little petty, minuscule mindset, but try to see them through the eyes of God. When we look at it, we, we say there's giants. God says not even a grasshopper. Amen. We say there's no way out. He said, I open all the windows and doors. Amen. We say, I don't know how I'm going to get it tomorrow. He said, I give strength to the faint. Amen. He says, whatever it is that we have, he's got it. I got you. Amen. I got you. I'm going to have to preach. I got you. Amen. Because why? He has us at all times. And that's what I look forward to. And Pastor, why don't, before we get out of here, why don't you pray that the people learn to be more thankful? And that we begin to praise him. And remember, when uh, prayer and uh, praise go up, blessings come down. And he said in his word, enter into my uh, uh, gates with thanksgiving and into my courts, courts with praise. praise. So we should get up in the morning and all through the day. Lord, I just want to thank you. Amen. Let us pray. Father God, we thank you and we just praise you for all that you've done, Lord. Father, help us to look back from where you brought us from, Lord. Help us to just, amen, acknowledge you in the present Jesus. day time, Lord, as we look forward to the future of what you're about to do for us. Father, help us to be more thankful this year than what we were on years past, Lord. As we get ready to enter into a new year, Lord, let us not say we're thankful, but Father, help us to show forth our gratitude toward you, Lord, for the things that you've already done, for the things that you are yet doing, and more so for the things that you are about to do. We thank you, we thank praise you, right you now, and Jesus. we give you the glory. In Jesus' name Jesus. we pray. Amen. Amen. And you know, and you said something very significant in that prayer. 
that we will uh, not just think it but do it. But here's the thing. Whatever we believe, mm. I'm confident in what God's word is telling me. Amen. Whatever we believe, we act on our beliefs. Yes, sir. So when you when you get up and like, well, nothing's going to happen good today, that's because that's what you believe. Mm. But I got to tell you, stand on that word. Stand on Hang it. Hang on that word. And, and, and sometimes the world will say, sometimes when you get to end your rope, tie a knot in the end of that rope. Amen. But I guarantee you, after not long, the Lord is going to bring you back up. He's going to bring gonna you up. He's going to pick you up. He's going to turn you around. As I was saying, he's going to set your feet on solid ground. Amen. And the thing I like about the Lord so much, not only does he set my feet on solid ground, but he sets my feet on higher ground. Ooh. Ooh. So all those issues I go through, every time when he brings me out, those issues were just a stepping stone or something a little bit higher. Amen. Just a stepping stone to bring me up a little closer to him. And it gives me a background and experience that I understand regardless of what happens, he is still there to bless me. And we have just been giving the sinners time to get out of here. But we want you to know in this season from now throughout Christmas through the new year, thank God. Every single day, every once in a while through the day, just stop and think, Lord, I just want to thank you. Amen. And when you do that, he will bless you in all things. God bless you and have a great day.